Alright, today I wanted to do some robot ratings and here is our first one, which is a robot sent in by 2990X. And I found this really interesting because they're using these these mechanism wheels in their drive, first of all, as we can see. Not many teams have been using them for the past couple of seasons. Um, and in my opinion, this season is also going to be a a very heavily omni-wheel drive, omni-traction wheel drive game. But it's interesting because you can you can see that they're running a six motor drive on this actually, uh, two five point fives, um, on or sorry, five point five on every single one of these, uh, mechanism pods, and that's kind of kind of tech. I feel like uh, that's so that's so unique, and like I mean, this is one of the first seasons you can actually do this in because of these new five point five watt motors which were introduced during during over under. Anyways, so. Um, diving further into this this design, though, they have once again very simple um, 11 watts on the on both 5.5s on the start on the front. I feel like this is a little too too tight of a of a fit for those for those uh, new balls. I feel like it'd be nice if they can pistonize this and, and increase the the width of the intake, so then they can intake more. Um, you can see they're not using much poly as you don't need that much poly this season, anyways. And they have an 11 watt on the top here. I guess the the, the, the track that the the bit, that the balls will take would just go up like so, and then they will be able to go out um, here, right? And he said there was two scoring levels too, um, where it scores from from the back into two levels, right? Which is interesting. Um, so that is that's pretty nice. I feel like uh, I feel like definitely. Um, I think we were talking a lot about the front to front scoring and I think I think people have said front to back is going to be more efficient and, uh, you know I kind of agree with that now I can I can tell I can see that happening or you know front to back you just load and go right back into the into the into the tubes or the goals to score right so that's our, that's our first one and now on to our second one oh, you can also see they, this is their this is their um, CAD concept which was uh, black and white. Anyways, going further down, Metabot Trust. This just looks like one of the, the hero bots where you just uh, just go front to back once again with the piston. This is kind of nice. I think this is such an easy design where, um, honestly, props to Vex for making this season so beginner friendly. I feel like any anyone can get started in the season really easily with a hero bot or any even more a more competitive robot built off of like a hero bot where you know you just kind of have this setup here where it's literally just one one bar and some rollers on top of it so you don't need much expensive material all you need is just brockets some shafts some rubber bands that's about it and on the bottom here they have i think this is a, a just a, a standard tongue mech which or just like a a matchload mech, which is a uh, uh, passive, I think, and they have a piston here, right, to lower the stage, increase the stage. Very nice. I think this is one of the the nice, easy designs that you can go for here. I'm gonna give this one an S tier, and I'm gonna give this one an A tier, right? M not because I think this is like gonna be extremely good. It's I don't think it's gonna be the most competitive robot. But ho however, I think it's gonna be a very, very nice and reliable robot for new teams to build. I love catting. Wow. Um, that's a. Uh, this is gonna skip. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Lego pushback bot. That's better, you know. You already know. This is kind of very cracked. Okay. Still improving. It. Bam. Bam. Okay. Nice. I like how they're. You know, I like how they're using the mesh to uh, to their advantage advantage at the bottom. I don't think, per se, a robot like this needs to have so many layers of of bands at the bottom too, band rollers at the bottom too. I only think you need it at the top. And you can see that here very nicely where they have the mesh at the bottom. Anyways, ChatGPT Vexbot. I'm gonna give this one a B tier because you know, it's coming com coming along. Interesting. Interesting, ChatGPT is not, I mean, it's, it looks kind of, if you squint your eyes hard enough, you can kind of see that this is like a, like a tipping point bot. <laughs> All right. Anyways, P 
pushback CAD concept for second motor drive, 5.5 watt uh, motor intake, 600 RPM tongue thingy. Okay. So intake, so it goes this way, and it comes out the front through the through the middle for the low for the the low the medium goals, and then through the top for the high goals. That's nice. I I do like this design. It's very very change up isk, and. I just don't think you need the the back rollers how everyone else is doing them. Um, yeah, I I don't think you need that. And and yeah, I feel like I feel like I do agree with, uh, with how people are saying that the front to back is going to be more efficient. However, it's going to be harder to drive. So if you can if your driver can can, can drive that, then uh, go for it. But I would play play a little safer and go with a change up bot right the bot took heavy inspiration from team 10 of speed catting this literally just looks looks like team 10's cat cad hmm it looks nice uh i don't know how this is gonna switch like scoring angles because i mean they have a piston nice hood but how so are the balls gonna just shoot out with enough velocity where it goes upwards instead of this way maybe Oh, no, no, because no, they have two pistons. They have one here and one on top. So then all this, the whole thing tilts. Okay, that's cool. But I feel like that's going to use so much air. Like, because, I mean, you want to keep your robot light. So you're probably going to use one air tank. But anyways, this is, this is nice. I like it. I like it. Once again, I would, no, I would say it'd be very nice if you, if everyone can just use like pistonized on the, if you're using like a change up front layer, use make a piston eye so then you can uh, make it go wider um, if you want and that would make it more efficient at scoring okay our last one in robot ratings is going to be this one by jeremiah jeremiah one four eight from scoring into the the low pipe with the outtake that's, that's really nice and it's very interesting how you can have like all these balls just clumped up together and still just like, shoot them all out so easily. Don't know how that so happens. that's definitely kind of giving me confidence in, you know, fast scores this season because of just how easy it is for these balls to kind of roll off onto each other and get scored. Also, they're using the uh, three inch flex wheels. And I see a lot of teams doing, I'm gonna give this one a B tier. Well, I see a lot of teams using, uh, two inch flex tools and i feel like just go with just half cut your three inch ones cut them down the down the the side so then it's uh it's like it's thinner but then you can still use it and i think that's so much nicer than the using two inch ones i would totally go go three inch anyways that's uh that's about it watch out for the the interview with an mit professor dropping up soon anyways okay thank you guys for watching